And now, a flash of lightning. Flash. WRKO. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another flash of lightning. My name is Lightning. Let's dive right in here to this week's flash. First up, how far would you go to save your favorite restaurant? How far is too far? Well, one man out in Los Angeles, he wanted to save his favorite restaurant, Los Toros, and what he did. He went to the extreme. He sat in a tub of bean dip for 24 hours to show not only his appreciation and love for the restaurant, but he wanted to bring more diners to the restaurant by putting his action, his stunt on display and, of course, publicizing Los Toros. Here's a little bit more from him on that. His name is stuntman Hunter Ray Barker. I'm spending 24 hours in this tub of bean dip for Los Toros. I just think we have a golden opportunity to grab the bull by the horn and support local businesses in a big, explosive way. Because why not? I personally believe that small businesses are the backbone of the nation. I believe that um, it is our duty to support them. And I just think if we can do that in a, a fun way, and in a way that encourages other people to um, you know, bring some excitement to the small businesses as well, I think is really, really helpful. And so I think now is the best time to do it. Wow, that is dedication. That is real serious dedication. And for all of you wondering, like I was, about what the heck, what does he do for a bathroom break? Like what? Uh, he has a funnel, so just thought I'd let you know Don't worry, he's got the funnel for bathroom breaks. And I'll tell you, that's a real dedication on behalf of Hunter Ray Barker. And you know what? I got to applaud his his admiration for Los Toros. Good for you. I hope it stays open a long time. Keeping with the food news here, guess what you might see in the near future at your local McDonald's? AI might be greeting you next time you hit up the drive-thru of McDonald's. Apparently, McDonald's is testing out a new technology here where they have introduced AI to start taking drive-thru orders. Now, there's somewhere in Chicago, in one of the suburbs there, that they are starting to kind of test this out. They're doing a test, a test run, a pilot program of the AI, if you will. Take a listen. Welcome to McDonald's. We're currently serving a limited menu, so please review the menu before ordering. Let me know what I can get for you. Can I get two medium Oreo McFlurries? All right. Would you like anything else? That's it. Okay. Your total will be 658. Please pull forward. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the AI. It kind of weirds me out a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I mean, if we weren't concerned about robots taking over before, they're taking over more and more. I mean, I like that friendly customer service through the drive through box, the, the voice box. I like that. I like knowing that I'm talking to somebody. So I don't know how I feel about this, but hey, it could be the big future. <laughs> I did go there. I did go there. But hey, that's the only pun you're going to hear from me today, believe me, because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of cheesy puns, but I had to throw that one in there. And lastly, here on today's Flash, Gatorade is making a smart patch that measures your sweat and hydration. Very interesting. This is their first ever wearable device. They're calling it the GX Sweat Patch, and they advise you to wear it on your left inner arm during a single workout going to fill up with sweat as the athlete exercises and apparently after you finish your workout users can scan their patch using the Gatorade app to reveal their unique sweat profile. This is supposed to analyze sweat to provide athletes with insights into their athletic performance and hydration levels. Hmm, this patch is going for $24.99. It's going to be available online and at Dick's Sporting Goods beginning Monday. 
So for all you athletes out there, if this is appealing to you, it certainly helps you keep up your hydration levels. I say have at it. Why not, right? I mean, what will they come up with next when it comes to technology? We just heard about the AI and McDonald's. Now we're doing the smart patches. Man, we're moving right along with technology as we usher in the future more and more. So that does it for me, of course, here for another flash of lightning. My name is Lightning. Tune in every week where I bring you just a quick flash of stories out there that you might not hear in the mainstream media coverage. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely day and rest of your week.